from Sam. Is Sam here this morning? Yes. Yay. So Sam is going to uh, lead the presentation in recognizing uh, Building and Safety Awareness Month. And I believe we have a short video. Do we? OK, I'm going to just give you the mic before I put my foot in my mouth. Great. Um, building and Safety Month is a month to recognize all the hard work of the building and safety staff. In, in addition to that, to recognize all the, the applicants and the customers that come in and comply with the building code and do an enormous effort in doing so. It's also to recognize all the other departments that use the building code in some degree or another, such as code enforcement, transportation, environmental health. So I'm happy today to accept the proclamation of the Board of Supervisors, and maybe we can watch a short video on that. Thank you, that was wonderful. Um, you know, Sam, it occurs to me that uh, in our two and a half million residents, well over a million people probably don't know anything about what building and safety does. Your work is often um, sort of invisible to the average citizen, um, but you, you serve as sort of uh, the backbone to a lot of the building that goes on to ensure that it's safe, that structures like this, that people congregate are safe to be inside. And, and so we appreciate the work uh, and we'll celebrate the month of making people aware of the good work that's done in building and safety. Um, and I don't know if my colleagues would like to add words to that. I'll pass the mic down. Then we'll do the proclamation and a picture. That's okay. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Um, Sam, and just in recognition of Building and Safety Month, I also like the fact that your department is also uh, online now as well uh, with you know ahead of the times and that's a good thing and uh, like the chair mentioned this is just bringing awareness you know to safety uh, this month and I think that's very important and we're going to continue to do so so thank you can't really top what's been said already we appreciate the efforts of your department in necessity but also thank you same here uh, Sam I mean at the end of the day we have to make sure that our public is safe but as we move forward, right, we also got to consider what does that look like? How do you balance that out with ensuring that people still have the access, the opportunity to develop and to grow? Um, how do we make the process uh, more amenable, if you will, uh, builder friendly, if you can be, but at the same time, ensuring that ultimately we're taking care of our people and those that step into those buildings. I think that's critical. I think that's key. And that's what I hear quite a bit from developers. So I look forward to figuring those things out as we move forward with all developments, not only in the 4th District, but as well in the County of Riverside. Thank you, Sam, for your service. You're the quiet one there in building and safety. Uh, I want to also recognize Jorge and the leadership that he's provided over the years that are there as well and the team that you have. You have a great team that's uh, out in the field every day trying to do the best they can with the call volume that you have, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 